Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the important questions of software testing for 2022 externals. So this subject is from uh, IS branch, so I tried to analyze the previous papers and what I could found uh, I am going to discuss today, okay. So if, not, if you have not started any of the subject and uh, by this, uh, by the end of this video you will be getting to know what are the questions you need to study so that you can at least get the passing marks, okay. Because I don't have the much knowledge regarding this subject and but uh, by the previous year analysis I got some idea regarding what you need to study more. Okay. So uh, what are the questions uh, are present here are the selected ones which are most repeated are not to be missed at any cost. Okay. Anyway take it easy engineers have uh, posted the uh, question list in that there are 28 questions. Okay. So according to my analysis many of the questions which are uh, present in that uh, document are um, same in this document after my analysis. Okay. And there are some extra questions I have included uh, like around uh, 24 or 25 questions. So most of them are similar. Okay, so the, these are the important questions. Okay, that I can say by guarantee. And uh, let's get started. Whatever the notes I have referred and whatever the uh, things I have mentioned here like the Googles and uh, the websites. So you have to refer uh, that one only. Okay, so all the notes I have referred from the Take It Easy Engineers notes. So if it's in module 1, it's uh, written page number 1, it's in that page number. Like the module 1's page number 1 like that I have uh, referred here okay. So uh, I can give you a brief uh, key concept what you need to write and what are the points you need to mention in your answer script for each of these uh, questions okay. So before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos like this and uh, your support is very important for me okay. So let's get started from the module 1 there are uh, totally 5 questions which I found important in the repeated ones. First one is the common sense question what is software testing and why it is so important. So I have to go to the Google and uh, go to this uh, website here I found it very helpful performance lab as okay performance lab as you go to this website they will get uh, depth information regarding what are the key concepts from the first uh, topic which is uh, what is software testing and why it is so important because in the notes of TI it was not there okay. Next question is what explain the error and fault uh, taxonomies. So let's see what is the error and uh, fault taxonomies here. So error is uh, given here what is an error that definition is given and what is fault that definition is given here okay. So you can go through that and write the key concepts. Then the next question is uh, explain with the need diagram Saturn windshield uh, wiper controller it is in page number 17. So let's go to page number 17 it is the last topic. But here it is very less information is given uh, actually you have to go through the uh, Google also. For this one if you have textbook I am not sure which textbook uh, you guys are using. So uh, whatever the textbook it is there and what are the Google uh, documents you get you have to go through that and make the diagram neat diagram and uh, watch some other YouTube videos where they have explained what it is Saturn windshield wipe, uh, wiper controller it is a very important topic okay. It is repeated a uh, uh, lot number of times in the previous paper. Moving on we have the fourth question which is differentiate between functional and structural testing this is very very important one it is in page number 6. So it is clearly mentioned what is the difference so you have to mention those key points. So this is the functional testing there is a diagram as well and this is the definition part of it and the structural testing is also there there is a um, theory concepts and the uh, diagram is not given so I think it is just the theory con uh, concepts here. So if you write only the theory concepts also it can fetch you some marks I believe. So this is where I found the answer and the next question is uh, explain the triangle problem statement with the flowchart for transitional implementation this very very uh, repeated topic. So uh, it is in page number 11 let us have a look at it. In page number 11 uh, I can found out in the traditional um, implementation here is the triangle prob uh, problem. So here is the statement and the discussion regarding that how to solve that problem and the traditional implementation is the structured implementation and here is the diagram as well. So I believe it is not clear so you can find out the clear uh, diagram from other other documents. Here is the program I think you have tried the program as well. So yeah that is all uh, till this uh, point you have to write okay. So those were the important concepts from the module 1. So make sure you focus more on um, functional and structural testing and triangle problem okay. These were the most repeated also error and fault taxonomies this you can write by yourself so I did not mention that okay. So these are the 5 important questions from module 1 let us move on to module 2. In module 2 we have the boundary value. And see these are the 4 questions which are repeated a lot a lot number of times okay. Like if you uh, analyze the previous 5 years papers for 2015 scheme also because the syllabus is same anyways you will find that in every paper only these 4 questions are asked A, B, A, B okay. These 4 questions are only asked and it is revolving around these 4 questions itself. Also the 5th question mutation based, uh, based testing it is getting replaced with any of these questions. So make sure you study all of these questions you can easily score 20 marks from this one okay. So let's have a look at what are uh, what is the question and what is the uh, things you need to mention that. 
explain the usage of boundary value analysis boundary value analysis you have to mention its usage for a function of two variables and highlight the limitations of boundary value analysis three things you have to mention first is the usage of boundary analysis and second is the uh, function of two variables for this particular scenario you have to mention and what is the limitations of boundary value analysis so this can be uh, this answer is present at page number one of the ti module two notes so here is the uh, boundary value analysis and the uh, uh, usage is I believe it is written here itself and what are the limitations. Yeah, here is the limitations of boundary value analysis, it is in page number 4, okay. So these are the three points you have to, uh, means you have to go through these uh, notes and you have to pick the points regarding e the three topics and you have to write in your answer script, okay. Let us move on to the next question. The next question is explain weak normal, weak robust, strong normal and strong robust. Okay, four concepts you have to explain. Equivalent class listing considering the example of next date problem. So if you go to page number 16 in TIE notes, there you can find this um, content. Okay, so let us go to page number 16. Here is the uh, strong normal class equivalence uh, class testing and uh, weak normal class. So these four topics are there. It is under the topic um, equivalence class testing. Okay. So, this is the uh, concepts which you have to write. From each of these, you have to write the definition part and the explanation, as well as if the diagram or the graph is given, you have to ma uh, make that graph. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. The next question is explain the decision table and its technique to solve commission problem. So, I believe in the um, module, there are many different types of um, techniques, and for each of these techniques, there are different problems are getting solved. So, they have uh, specifically asked the technique to solve the commission problem using decision table. So, it is present at page number 36, actually commission problem is solved in two or three ways, but uh, they have specifically asked regarding decision table. So, it is present at uh, page number 36, so you have to write that one only, okay. I am sorry, it was not uh, 36, it was uh, page number 25 uh, or 26, okay. So, here is the answer for the decision table techniques, you have to solve the commission problem. So. So, text, uh, test cases for the commission problem are present here and uh, it is just very small information given. So, I have to refer the different documents, but it revolves around this uh, topic itself uh, where the decision tables is there, also the commission problem is there. So, yeah, that is all uh, the answer for the uh, question which is uh, explain the decision table and technique to solve commission problem. Then we have uh, fault based testing and it is found at page number 38. So, let us see in page number 38. Um, there is a topic called fault based testing. So, you can find out the answer here and as well as the assumptions are mentioned here. So, you have to write the content from this one, okay. Then we have the terminologies for the mutation uh, based testing. So, what is the terminologies for mutation based testing? Uh, that is in page number 40, okay. Let us see what is in page number 40. So, in page number 40, you have the mutation analysis and uh, the concepts from here are asked uh, for that question so i have to write the concept from this topic okay so that's all what is the important ones and most repeated ones actually the if you analyze all the previous year papers in that module 2 what are the questions those are the uh, most repeated ones what i mean is in the other uh, modules uh, the questions have been asked from a wide range of topics and a uh, few of them are repeated ones but in module 2 they have asked from this much only okay so that's why i'm telling uh, focus more on this easy you can score 20 marks and um, moving on to the module 3, we have the topic which is explain the statement uh, testing. So, I found the answer for statement testing, test oracles, capture and replay. These are the related topics and this is one topic, okay. Branch testing, you have to google it or find from other notes because I did not find in uh, TIE notes. And uh, let us get uh, means, uh, have a look at what are the answers. So, it is in page number 8 and page number 40. So, these are the module 3 notes, it is in page number 8, that answer. So, so, it starts from here statement testing and pred uh, predicate testing, you can find out the answer here, okay. Next one was presented page number 40, so let us go to page number 40. In page number 40, what you can find is the uh, self check as oracles and the capture and replay, okay. Those two answers are present here. The next one is the uh, what is scaffolding and explain the purpose of scaffolding, a very, very important question. Uh, question. So, if you go to the page number 38, we can find out the content related to uh, scaffolding. <coughs> so, two topics are here, the general uh, information regarding scaffolding and uh, generic versus specific uh, scaffolding. So, you have to write the content regarding each of these, okay. So, that is all what is there in the uh, scaffolding, the second question and moving on we have the third question. 
uh, which is uh, self check oracle okay self check oracle i already discussed it in page number 40 and dd path and draw dd graph for triangle problem you should be very careful because there are many similar topics like dd path it uh, the answer for this one is in page number 4 and 5 so let's get uh, let's have a look at uh, page number 4 and 5 so in page number 4 you can see the dd path is present here and the definition and in page number 5 you can find out the dd path for triangle problem so i guess yeah, the answer is here you have to go through it and write the answer okay as well as make the graph so if you are uh, going for module 3 you have to study the test oracles capture and replace scaffolding and the oracle already came here and dd path okay so those are the very much uh, repeated concepts in module 4 we have uh, four most repeated topics so the four, uh, first one among them is the principles and analysis of uh, means principles of analysis and testing uh, there are totally six principles okay so what are those uh, six principles it's presented uh, page number one so let's see in page number one they have give, they given a brief information regarding what is uh, basic principles and then we have the six principles uh, sensitivity and redundancy restriction partition visibility and feedback okay so these are the six principles which you have to write down in your answer script okay very important and repeated concept and then we have the briefly discussed the dependable properties uh, with a neat diagram in the process framework so it's uh, presented page number seven so if we go to the page number seven here we can find the dependable uh, proper, uh, properties okay then we have the third topic which is the clean room uh, properties with a neat diagram it's presented page number 13 so in page number 13 if you see there is a topic called uh, clean room you have to write the theory as well as make the diagram Moving on, we have the fourth uh, question, which is risk uh, planning, organizing documents, monitoring the process, and test and analysis report. The last two topics are similar uh, topics, so those are coming together, and the risk planning is a separate topic. Organizing documents, I did not uh, find in this uh, notes, so you can uh, refer that for the other websites or the other documents. So let's have a look at risk planning, monitoring the process, test and analysis report. So in risk planning, that can be found at page number 18. So if you move to page number 18, there we can find the risk analysis. So risk planning is present here and monitoring the process. And the page number 26. In page number 26, yeah, organizing documents also present. So I forgot that it was here. And page number 28, I guess, a test and analysis report. So all the four topics are there. Okay, so you can go through them. And make sure you never miss any of these topics already there are very less topics so this is super important topic so you have to go through them okay then uh, moving on to the module 5 we have five uh, questions the first question is the alternative life cycle model a very important concept so it's presented at page number one so here's the answer in page number one alternative life cycle models okay. the next question is explain call graph uh, based integration with the help of pairwise integration and neighborhood integration a very important concept from exam point of view so if you go to page number 12 there we can find the answer for this one so it's a very short module so here we have the pairwise integration and the neighbor neighborhood integration so this is the general information regarding call uh, graph based integration and pairwise and neighborhood can be found here moving on with our third question we have uh, defined regression and progression testing so these are the two uh, types of testing in regression testing we'll test all at once and progression testing will check uh, one feature and then we'll add a new feature and check the whole thing like that we'll be doing okay so it can be found in geeks for geeks or guru 99 so you can go to these two uh, websites separately for each of these and find out some information okay I, I because i did not find much information in the tie notes so let's move on to the uh, uh, question number four here we have the uh, context uh, and the diagram for the satm satm okay so it can be found in page number three so let's uh, go to page number three and see what is there so satm is a type of model which is having the structured analysis so, so you have to make this diagram here and write some information regarding it so yeah that's all and it's a very important uh, question from exam point of view so here we have the formulations for uh, satm system this is also uh, what you have to mention then we have the topic uh, the last topic which is the system testing acceptance testing and usability testing the first thing which is the system testing is found in the notes in page number six the rest two topics which is acceptance uh, testing and usability testing these two you have to find out from the google itself okay so let's have a look at system testing so system testing is found at page number six so it's, if you go through page number six you can find out the topic for system testing here you can get relevant information for the rest two topics you have to find out from google for acceptance testing and usability testing 
So this is all what I could do from the topic which is from the subject which is software testing and if you have any doubt or if you need some more help you can text me in Instagram my ID is in the description box and thank you so much for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one.